Special video. I am Megan, the one in blue who likes to point at things. And I am Patty, who is the man. Uh, you yeah. haven't seen us before. This is what we look like. Yeah, I apologize. We look really not so great. <laughs> oh, mean. Oh, there's some nice trees for you anyway. Um, so those who don't know us, we are uh, podcasters, and you can find our stuff in the description or the link or the comments. And yeah, this is our Yowie special. So we have a podcast episode already on the Yowie, part one, but this is the video of our adventure to look for it ourselves. Yeah, for Australia Day long weekend, we decided to hit the Blue Mountains. And then there's a part two podcast episode coming up, which you can watch after the video. Yeah, cue the travel montage. (laughs) (laughs) For those who don't know, the Yowie is Australia's Bigfoot. So to try and find the Bigfoot, we headed down to the Blue Mountains to a place called Hazelbrook, which yeah. is uh, supposed to be a hotspot for Yowie sighting. And yeah, we ended up staying in this weird dome home. Yeah, here is the dome home, uh, which was super weird, but not as weird as the hosts, the I hosts would say. The were very strange people. But soon enough, we headed off for our first adventure. And we're here at the dome. We're heavily camered up. And a thunderstorm is rolling in. You can't really see it, but it is. Mm. If I shut up, you can kind of hear it. I'm going to go walk about. And we're going to go walk about. I'm not wearing my adventure shirt. No. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'm not wearing shoes, so we're not going to go that much (laughs) walk about. (laughs) To the front lawn. (laughs) Anyway, we're here in the Blue Mountains. Let me just stay still so you can see it. It's kind of peaceful here. There's no one around. Well. Well, there are p- <laughs> <laughs> there's no one around, <laughs> no one of substance. Ooh. Ooh, nah, I kid. Look, we found something. It's not the yowie, but it is a brown pigeon thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna walk up to it. Oh, oh, and we've we've heard something else. Megan's been distracted, but my focus is vice-like. I hope they're not aggressive. Oh, God! (laughs) Alright, I've lost this gun into the tree. Dark sighting. (laughs) To Sydney (laughs) ciders. Totally unused to being outdoors. No, actually, Megan goes outdoors a bit, I'm sure. Yeah, I have to get to work and back. Yeah, true. Yeah, you're not wearing shoes, but shall we go in there? <laughs> Megan wants to go in here. Yeah. Megan, who is here, has just suggested <laughs> walking into the bush, knowing full well that I still don't have shoes. I'm, I'm not too keen on the idea, i got to say. But if you want to go in, I'll, I'll film you from behind. My, I'll be the rear guard I and stylish, uh, moral London support. Shoes on. Yeah, hey look, those suede, oh, they've already got dirt on them. <laughs> it was that time. <laughs> I got too cocky. <laughs> this is wildlife stuff, it's not for me. <laughs> I hate when they do that. Like, have, have all the letters in one row. Homey, like, it's not home, it's home. One word. Ominous, <laughs> ominous clouds. And Creek or billabong, as, as I believe it's referred to as. Did you hear that? I think that was our dog. It came from that direction. No, it came from that direction. And it sounded good. It sounded... Hang on. All right. Megan and I have just had our first dispute as skeptic and believer on the Yowie adventure. We just heard a dog yelp over there because these houses have dogs. And Megan pointed into the jungle and said, oh, Did you hear that? It came from that way. Camp did not come from that way. They 
makes him scared by something. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> but soon the clouds rolled in as thick and fast as Paddy's teasing, so he packed it in for the night and got ready for tomorrow's adventure. Day two, we set off to the bottom of Hazelbrook into the bush for our main adventure to try and hunt down the alley. Recording a strange sound we've heard. Megan thinks it might be a big tree causing a little tree to creak. I reckon it's a bird of some kind. Not a yowie, that is for sure. But still interesting. So I saw something from my left hand side about the size of a kangaroo and dark brown runoff. That's what that sound was. I didn't, I saw something but I couldn't pick out what it was. I definitely, it was big and definitely I heard something quite large sort of crashing through the bush. But I'm not convinced it wasn't like a big wallaby or a kangaroo. I... Megan tells me they don't live in this area but she doesn't know what she's talking about either. So. All right, let me put it out for you. As you can see, heaps of trees, really hilly area. This is not where kangaroos are, people. This is where yaoi's are. So either one of the millions of kangaroos known to live in Australia or the yaoi. Anyway, after some walking, we stumbled across a gorgeous lake and we also found something very interesting. Um, we're on this beach by ourselves basically, just in the middle of nowhere, um, underneath Hazelbrook, but there seems to be one footprint that doesn't look very big, but it looks very deep, so, um, I've sent Paddy to investigate, hopefully he hasn't already stepped all over it, like he seems to. <laughs> so it's over here. Where is this footprint? Uh, here. So I compared my shoe. So the shoe tracks are yours. These on either side of me, just okay. to compare. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It looks a bit deep. But it's a little bit deep. Like something was coming from out of there, across the river. There's no follow-on tracks. Unfortunately, these are all me. Sorry. It is kind of curious. Should we take my shoes off and see what a human footprint looks like? Yeah. Maybe do. You just put them back on, but yeah. <laughs> maybe do like a. All right. Maybe go right next. One next, next human to it. print coming up. Right next to it. Um, Are you ready for this? Put a lot of effort into it. That's tiny. This one's much bigger. That's concerning. Yeah, maybe it's the soil. It's a little bit tough, but like this is, this is. What could have left this print? <laughs> Baby owie. Wait, oh, no, I don't want to mess it up, do I? Have we got enough footage of the print? Do you want to do a side-by-side -side foot comparison? Yeah, sure. There's my mingy little foot. It's about the size of my foot. Hmm. I'm a small man, though. <laughs> Alright, All right, have we got sufficient evidence of the footprint? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to step in the footprint. I want to see if it's mushier soil. It is kind of mushier soil. But I don't know if that's just because it got deeper. It's kind of wet in here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this, Megan. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, search continues. The search continues. The search goes on. And so does bloody heat. Oh. 
Oh, you found a... What is that, maybe? It's a massive ant that wants my blood. But he has to swim to get it. Holy shit, that's so good. And now he's drowning. I can hear something in here. Crashing around. Something moving around in there. So we're just coming across a creek. We're quite high up and we're looking down. So Yowie's come to the creek and water at daytime to sort of have a drink and refresh before they find a cave and snuggle up. So we're just keeping an eye out for anything moving, which isn't the wind. So we found some scat, but it looks very small. Um, so I'm probably not gonna touch it. But here's some poop for you. Hello, we're going to test the tree knocking that the yaoi supposedly did, see what it might sound like. Yeah, so we've got a few different sticks. sticks, and this tree sounds quite good from our initial banging, and we're going to just stay <laughs> silent for a little bit afterwards to see if we hear anything coming back. something more jazzy than uh, <laughs> oh. luck. Try again later, I guess. That was a good one, that second one. Yeah. I want to touch him. Should I jump it? <laughs> yeah, do it. What is that? That looks, that looks not human. What is it? That print there. The print? It looks like it's got claws. Hmm. Um, yeah, I guess we jump. Alright, you want to get the jump? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's just like a... Oh, there's another thing on over here. There's there. another... That's just a puddle. Why isn't that a puddle? <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> So we've had our first injury, I uh, cut myself shaving and then fell in the muddy water and it stings a bit, <laughs> but I will soldier on.
Well, we've made it to Little Terrace Falls and it's very pretty, uh, but there are some caves around and we've got a torch and we're just going to have a little bit of a hunt and see if we can wake up some sleeping alleys. So. And we, we're going to get our baked beans out, are we? Yeah, let's get some baked beans out. Alright, okay, we'll report that. Actually, I, I would be keen on some baked beans. <laughs> Is it cooking? No. They're already baked. Very okay, they're baked warming in. them up. Do you want me to... some before we put it on the rock? Yeah! Would anyone else like some? No, thank you. No? <laughs> oh, because I'll just come in and try. Yeah. <laughs> you done? <laughs> I'm on time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put this on the rock. And then we've got some noises to attract. <laughs> you got it for a really wounded sound. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm going to have some of these. These are the ways to do this. Alright, I'm going to go explore the caves while you do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We waited around but nothing came for our beans and there was nothing in the caves and it was getting hot. So a few of us decided to go for a swim. So we've found a potential Yowie baby, or potentially just a Banksia. So what we're looking for here is any hair, any scat, maybe some sort of bedding. Unlikely there's going to be any footprints because it's all like dry and hard. But Never know. Oh, it's very warm here. Oh, it's actually really terrifying. <laughs> it goes in that way. Can you feel that heat coming up? Wish I had the torch. A bit of a weird heat coming out of this hole. Kind of goes behind these rocks. Mm. 
makes me a little nervous. But it smells alright. Just smell like moist, like moist, warm moisture. Uh, so we're meant to go that way, but Paddy went up ahead and we've lost him. So I'm just going to shout for him and try and find him. There he is. Great. What a patsy. We didn't find much else on day two, so on day three we decided to relocate to Katoomba, deeper in the bush. As you can see, it's an absolutely gorgeous location. Yeah, but before we got down into serious cryptid hunting, we decided to have a bit of fun. Please don't smell awful. Oh, it's leaking a bit. Okay. Alright. No problem. <laughs> are you, are you? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Come on, right down. Alright, we're here on. Oh, oh god, it smells so bad. <laughs> Oh god, alright, we're here on walk number two. We have some little meat bits for the yaoi, but we've left them in the boot of our car for like two minutes. So they smell revolting. And we'll attract yaois from miles that's around. That's true, and yaois already smell like shit, so they probably don't even care. <laughs> so we're gonna drop little bits of these in a, like a Goldilocks trail? No, what's, what's that? What's that fairy tale where they leave crumbs? Oh, Hansel and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel-like trail. And then we're going to go to a watering hole, and then we're going to come back and see if anything has eaten them. Mm -hmm. And we'll be sneaky on the way back, so we yeah. can hopefully catch it in the act. That's right. And we'll smell for just, like, clouds of urine and feces, mm. which is what they smell Yeah, like. hopefully it, it drops a deuce or something while Or while big eating. footprints. We should, cover, we should have, like, glue and just cover, like... <laughs> Quick, nah. quick sand. Yeah. So can, hey, look at you. <laughs> but because our budget is limited, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Um, all right, we will. Oh, God, that's so yuck. <laughs> Number one. It begins. <laughs> all right, it begins. So this sort of area here, uh, I was just saying, reminds me of the story of the 12, 16 year old girls camping. Uh, they saw something in the distance. They thought it was like a mate with a. Costume, costume on, kind. dicking about. Like Crypt of it closer. Yeah, and then it sort of hid behind trees and yeah. like behind little shrubs and things. And it started creeping closer and closer until it got uncomfortably close, and they were like, "Okay, this is not a joke." And then they yeah. jumped oh, in into the van and ran off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. This is the sort of terrain we're thinking is very similar Just to that. For our interested viewers who may not live in Australia, this is where it would have happened if it happened. Yeah, somewhere like this. Yeah. Yeah. So we're keeping our eyes out. So we've been laying meat down, um, and our track was closed, and we couldn't go any further, so we had to come back. We've only been gone for five minutes. Yeah, so a little okay. disappointing, but we did get a, a bit of meat down, and on our way back, after we realised the track was closed and returned, we saw that one of the pieces of meat was gone. At least one. The others are At hiding least one. a bit. Potentially more. Um, we're going to go find them. Anyway. So that's is... interesting, but I wanted to ask you what you think that is. I think it's dogs. <laughs> Wild dogs? Dogs or anything that eats meat. It could be like a possum that's having a hard time finding some insects. Like, I, I think it could be one of the many meat eating things. In fact, I think a yaoi would not enjoy this. This would be like a miniature snack. This would be like <laughs> a quarter of like a popcorn chicken or something. Oh, it's just a, dowie, a yaoi watching its weight or something? Yeah. On a diet. 
Um, All right, well, we'll carry on. It's starting to rain a little bit. It um, didn't smell like piss or anything around where the steak was. No, it smells like rain. There's no marks, although it's on the stone, so there wouldn't be any footprints. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go on another track. We're going to do more of this. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. yeah. All right. Patty yes. searching hard for the Yowie. <laughs> Day four, we headed back eastward in the direction we'd come from to a place called the King's Tableland. Yep, and we did it in true Aussie style in our thongs. We have stumbled across on our adventure a place called the King's Table Land, which is a cool bit of Aboriginal history. Where we are at the moment, it kind of looks like a reptile skin. All the rocks have little grooves in them. I don't know if you want to like, hand to the rocks. You can see it even where we're sitting on. That has nothing to do with the Aboriginal people. That is from glacial activity, but this is apparently where they set up camp. And we found a bunch of little pools with like axe grindings. Um, so yeah, it's just a cool bit of culture that we stumbled upon. We took some time to appreciate the cultural significance of this place, all the while keeping an eye out for the Yowie. That's right, while we were there we found some really amazing ancient old cave paintings that are almost too faded to see, but if you keep an eye out for them you can see the little emu prints we've tried to capture here on film, but it's just, it's a really great old site, thousands of years old, um, and it was just uh, sort of humbling to be able to see it. Yeah. But all too soon the dire wolves attacked and we decided to call it a day and head back to Sydney. Although we didn't find a Yowie, we did see some awesome Australian wildlife which we don't normally get to see. We also got to see some really beautiful landscapes and flora, and just some great views. And we got to hang out a lot and do a lot of stupid things. And it was pretty fun. I am sad we didn't find the Yowie though. But we did find each other. Oh god, alright, goodbye! Bye. <laughs> bye! Bye bye bye!